Hey guys, it's me, FGD, and real quick, I'm just going to show you how to make a sprite mod, like, pretty quickly, like, and understand. It's actually pretty simple. So, I'm going to show you how to use version 0.3.4.1. You can kind of, it's kind of like the same steps with most of them, but depending on the version, it can be buggy. 0.3.4.1 is pretty buggy, but I haven't really seen any desync. So, first you're going to, like, load up your extracted Jojo, you're going to want to use a non-modified version of the ROM and get that from wherever, dark website or whatever, but uh, so you're going to load it up, just sit here and wait, I guess while we're waiting, oh well never mind, so we're going to go to tools, game modifications, and you're going to want to free up space, free up space is important because it gives you extra space without having to delete characters and deleting characters will actually be kind of a desync since it's kind of like took away that space and I think it loads faster or something like that I'm not sure but we're gonna free up space it's gonna you're gonna wait for a command to say complete which means it worked and you're gonna see these three things here you're gonna want to open sprite workshop and now uh, my sprite mod is gonna be for Dio but Essentially, this is going to work for all the characters, like, this is going to be, your sprites are going to be put in the exact same way, so, you're going to want to, a important thing is use base group, which means it'll follow that tile size, because the sprites get cut off at a certain point, and if you go past that point, they won't show up, so, uh, you'll see that in a minute, and, uh, image type, you're just going to, for whatever your sprites are in, it could be BNG, uh, BMP files or PNG files. My sprites are PNGs and the images are mirrored. It's like depending on what sprites, uh, what way they're facing. So I know mine are gonna be mirrored, but if you don't know and they show up weird in the game, like if they're facing the wrong way, I recommend just reloading your sprites up with this selected or deselected. Just mess around with it. And the source palette. The source palette is essentially the, what colors you're using for your sprites so that they show up and this is very important uh, because without a working act palette your sprites will not show up no matter how much you work on them and where the hell okay so I made a test file so this is just where I put my act palette and sprites just to show you as an example so here my sprites use the basic deal palette so you can go into the pal mod and essentially just grab Dio's palette by just loading it up. Uh, let me just show an example real quick. So I'm just going to load my last file directory and you can go and say palette, which is this. So I'm going to open this Dio palette. So this is going to be the palette used. I'm going to source directory. You can either choose to load in one sprite to see how it looks or just load all of them for like a full character. So these are where my sprites are and we're going to load my sprites. And bam, you can then check out how the sprites look. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, some of the sprites are a little messed up looking, but that's because of the editor. It's not because of the sprites themselves. Like, I'll show you an example. I have two examples. So, this sprite here, right here, this is because of the tile size I was talking about, the base group, and after a certain point they'll get cut off, because the uh, Dio's base group doesn't go like farther than that, and they'll just be cut off. And then here's an example of that's cool, uh, 0341 messing up the sprites. I think it has something to do with the CRAM. But even though the sprites are a little messed up, this editor uh, testing online, I don't, I'm not gonna condone it, be like, uh, just go ahead and do it. But with my testing, 0341, it, I haven't had a desync with at all. But it does kind of mess up the sprites. And I think we'll just check out how all the sprites look. He's got to look at him just doing all those attacks, looking at me. He explodes. He's got all. He's got that. And then 
I think at this point, it's the boss giant video. So we're just gonna give, uh, so we're gonna give this a name. So we'll just call it ass. Alright, we're gonna add ass. And we're gonna then batch that ass. And it's complete. So now, our, now in game, this is what it will look like. I'm not actually gonna, like, test it, but, uh, let me continue. Uh, so, Split ROM is for Fight Cade 2, and I think Combined ROM is for Fight Cade 1. I haven't tested that that much, but if your files are, like, 50, 51, I think that should be Fight Cade 1. So, now I think you should know how to use the editor. I'm not gonna actually show it in-game, because I already just did, but that's it. And this should, I mean, I got a lot, like, I know I've been gone for a little bit, but I should be coming with some new content. I've got a video idea in the works, but I don't know how to start it. Got a new sprite mod, like probably my last one. Not my last, last one, but for a while. Uh, I'm on Twitch, you'll probably see me there. I'll let you guys know in my Discord. Speaking of my Discord, this uh, sprite mod I'm going to release on my Discord, so. The only way you're going to download it is if you get in my Discord. Like, get in there. And if you're already in there, good. Just stay there. And, um, we host a kind of bunch of competitions, so hopefully you'll join in there. And I hope to see you on Twitch or whatever. See ya.